I got tapped twice. I tapped again. See that? See that? Yeah. There we go. Float. Yeah. All right. There we go. It's also a hybrid. Oh, I'll say that, but it's probably not hybrid. Welcome back to the channel. It's Connor from Out of Work. We got Hybrid Killer in the front of the boat. And he's throwing a spoon into two for the water, which I just told him he shouldn't be doing because uh probably gonna get snagged. Uh, regardless, today we're uh, we're not we're not on the tournament drills. We're not practicing, we're not doing any of that. We're just out here having fun. It's been a long week, you know, can't catch a break type week. So we're out here. We don't really care if we get bit or not. We're just gonna come fish. Uh fish one of our old spots. And I haven't been out here this year. Hybrid killer hasn't been out here this year. 47 has been out here a couple times. The reports have been on and off, so we'll see how we do. Um, we're looking for stripers. We're looking for white bass. So let's get to it. If you haven't subbed to the channel, please sub to the channel. We, uh, we need all the subs we can get. All right, guys. See you in a bit. Let's go catch something already, mate. Is the rain supposed to be this big one? Okay, on the edge, it's not bad. <clears throat> so where all the big bass go, huh? I saw it bit like four times, huh? There we go, there we go. Got one. Got one. Finally. Oh, baby. Uh, gotta keep the first one. Throw it in the live well. And hopefully the live well works. This is what you don't do when you catch a fish, guys. <laughs> this shit never works. All right? I see pro does this shit all the time. <laughs> this shit don't work. Right? Just go in there, grab the hook, and whip it. <laughs> so simple. All right. It's raw, but we're going to keep it. For now. It's a rule of ours. Got to keep the first legal fish. Good job, huh? Good job. I just got bit right there. See that? I got tapped twice. I tapped again. See that? See that? Yeah. There we go. Float. Yeah. All right. There we go. It's also a hybrid. Oh, I'll say that, but it's probably not hybrid. I got smoked three times. You know, sometimes you don't set the hook. And uh, you let the big fish just set themselves. That's how you know it's a bigger fish. That's a good keeper size. That's a good keeper size. All right. Let's see what we got. They wasn't big enough. They wasn't big enough. Oh, so you gotta wait until they like pull back. That's how you know you catch the bigger ones right there. If they don't pull back, man, see, even when they pull back, it's still a small one, see? You know? I mean, it's a fun day, you know? Crazy white bass day. That one too? There we go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a better one. I think that's a striper. Just a magnum white bass. That's just a magnum white bass. No alarm. No cost for alarm. Just a magnum white bass. <laughs> yeah, we'll take you home. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me get a picture of that, dude. Because we need a thumb. Oh, over there. I see movement. Ooh, thumped it, thumped it. But I'm trying to let them have it. 
because I want the bigger fish. I don't want the smaller fish. Oh, there we go. That's what you get when you let them thump it. You get the better quality fish. See, told you better quality fish. Gotta let them thump it. Gotta let them thump it. That's a better quality. Good eating size. Good eating size. <laughs> you know he's a farmer? He owns like a freaking chicken and he does like chicken, rabbits, and all this other shit too. Yeah, I know, right? That's what I was saying. I was like, dude, this guy, this guy is going somewhere. God damn. It's just not a top water day, guys. Boy is killing it. Yeah, it's just not a top water day. Oh, gay blade? No? 1.0. Oh, yep, yeah, they just don't want it. They don't want it on top. It should be. I think it recorded your stuff. <clears throat> you know, it's time to throw a lipless, a lipless crankbait. Yeah, it's like, you know, what I've been telling all our people to throw, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta throw. The game blade works guaranteed, but you know, you gotta throw some else sometimes. You gotta throw some with stock hooks, you know? It's not worth it to throw expensive shit on little stuff. Yeah, but Bosh don't go. Oh yeah, Leo. Don't worry, I'll help you in a bit. Let me catch them first. Wonder if that's fishing. I mean there's a bunch of surface in there too. It is, that's that's white bass too, man. Pretty sure it's white bass. Oh, unspot lock, so you can go get your stuff. Oh, spot lock, really? Supposed to be. It's still trying to make up his mind. That's all. All right. Oh, they don't guarantee. Oh, told you, guarantee, yo, guarantee. Guarantee on the rattle trap. Exactly. You know, these are like, eh, they're like perfect eating size. Open a level, yo. Throw it in there. Are you just circulating the live water? Yeah. Okay. Crank it down. Pause. And you crank it a little bit. Pause. Doom. Doom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not that time. I'll try it. Alright, cast it out there. Let it sit. Rip it up a little bit. I'm in the rocks. Usually that's when they get it, right there. Of course, they've been moving around too, so they might be up here. Oh. Got them. That's a good one. Oh. So he wasn't lying. He is telling the truth. That's how he retrieves his stuff. Throw it out there. Stop and go. Good one. 
good one. It's a good one. <clears throat> August fishing. You know, after fishing so many tournaments and so many disappointments. We need one of these days. We need one of these days. You know, it's probably not a bad idea. You got him on the head. That's a good size one. No, just kidding. That's like, that's next year's good size. See, when the hook is shark, they don't come off. Telling you, man. Tip of the day. Tip of the day. Make sure you're using shark hooks. Like, not even close. What's the water about, bro? <laughs> yeah, y'all spinner bait finally pays off. I got your waking fish. No, the waking fish don't come in. Oh, is it? Well, in that case, well, that's a nice little spot of bass. Messed up my spinner bait, though. Fish the rocks, huh? Fish the rocks. Oh. Damn. Damn, son! Fish the rocks. Let me get ourselves a large mouth. I can get you. Nah. One bad, one bad. Oh. I pretty much threw it on the other side and they bit it. Alright, guys. I came out looking for stripers, but we didn't go all the way up to the end. Uh, There's too many shallow rocks. So. We opted to just fish what was around us. Did okay. Uh, show them a couple. A couple of good ones. You know, in the video, we, we caught a lot, but we only kept the good ones. The good ones. A couple of good ones. Decent ones. Really, really dark colored ones. Mm -hmm. And some little ones too. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Pretty ones. Good eating size ones. Yep. On a striking 1.0, they get today. The T10. And T10 did, did some damage. But and if you guys haven't got that little crankbait, you guys should pick it up. Oh, that's, that's a really good crankbait. Nobody throws it. Michelle, yeah. it's kind of rare too. Not every store has them. I mean, talk about matching the hatch, bro. Yeah. 
bro. Check it out. All right, look at that. It don't get much better than that, right? That's perfect. Yeah. Because so. I was throwing gay blade and stuff like that, but I wasn't getting bit as much as that. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. It's phenomenal, man. Pretty Come good. on. Come on. All right. See you guys on that next show. All right. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Sub if you haven't. Subs for strappers. We're going to have strapper fever soon. Oh. No. We need to go catch some striper. I'm sick because I'm not striper yet. That's why. This chaperone has hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chaperone is it. Okay, guys. See you on the next one. See you guys.